Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 8.4.3 LTS version on Windows 11 operating system. But the process is same on all Windows operating system. Once the installation completes, we will connect MySQL by using QA tools, MySQL Logbench and DBAWR. Okay. First, download the MySQL by going to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Then click on downloads, scroll down, then click on MySQL community downloads, then click on MySQL community server then select the version mysql 8.4.3 lts then see here we have the msi file so click on this download then click on no thanks just to start my download see download has been started go to downloads see it's a size is 129 megabytes wait until download completes see download is completed click on this mysql 8.4.3 msi file Click on next, select the license agreement and click on next. See here we have the three options, typical, custom and complete. If you click on custom, you will see the components, okay, developer of components and etc. Okay, go back, I am going to install all, so click on complete, then click on install. See, installation completed. Now we have to configure. So you have to check this checkbox that is run MySQL configurator. Then click on finish. Click on next. See, this is the MySQL server configurator console. Click on next. See, this is the data directory location. If you want to change, you have to click on browse and you have to select the path. Then click on next. I am okay with this path. So click on next. And this is the port that, that is 3306. And see here we have the development computer, server computer or dedicated computer, select configuration type, ok. And remaining options I am not going to change, so click on next. Now provide the password for root user. If you want to create a user, click on add user. Then provide the username, host, local host or the host, ok. And role see here we have different roles we have to assign the roles and authentication only as mysql and provide the password okay i'm not going to do just i want to show you how to create user later also you can create users click on next but and this is the service name for the mysql in windows services and uh, run windows service as account this one okay so click if you are okay with all these settings then click on next click on next if you want to create sample databases that is cycle and world you have to select the checkbox case and click on next see this is a summary so click on if you are okay with all the settings then click on execute click on next click on next see we have successfully installed mysql go to start then all applications go to the folder mysql See here we have the MySQL new folder. See we have the MySQL configured. We have already done. Now click on MySQL command line client to connect to MySQL. Then pro then provide the password for the root account that we have given. Hit enter. See MySQL server version is 8.4.3. You can also verify by running the command select version. Put semicolon. See, we have installed MySQL Server version 8.4.3. Verify list of databases by running the command show databases. See, these are the databases and cycle and hold are the sample databases. Now create a database by running the command create database, then provide the database. Now if a databases show See, we have new database autoscores. Let us switch to this new database by, by using command use command. Use keyword. Use autoscores. Put semicolon. See, database changed. Show tables. See, we don't have any tables. So let us create a table in this database. Create table.
show tables see we have one table let us insert some data into this table Insert one more row with the same S number. It will throw error. I will show you the error on this resolution. See here S number column defined as primary. So it won't allow duplicate values. But that is the reason we have received this error. So give the unique value for the primary key defined columns. Now if the data select star from student. See we have inserted these three rows. But if you give star, it retrieved all the columns of the table. If you want only particular column values, give S, select S name, S name from student. So until now, we have performed these actions on MySQL command line client. Now we will see how to install MySQL Workbench and connect. Simply go to mysql.com, downloads, MySQL community downloads, click on MySQL Workbench. Then see here, we have the MSI installer. Click on download. Oh, thanks. Just start my download. See, download has been started. See, download is completed. Click on this MSI file. Click on next. See, this is the location. Click on next. Select complete and click on next. Click on install. See, installation completed. Click on keep the checkbox that is launch MySQL workbench now and click on finish. Once installation completed, remove this both MSI file. Those are not required anymore. Now click on MySQL connections. Click on this plus button. Then provide the name MySQL843 LTS. Okay. Then post name localhost or give this loop loopback IP. Or give the IP of the machine. Username root port number 3306. Click on store store in vault. Then provide the password. Click on OK. Click on test connection. Connect. Continue anyway. See you. Successfully connected. Host name, port number, username, and SSL. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on this connection. Click on continue. See, we have successfully connected. See here, this except this, these three are the user defined or sample databases. Okay. Now create another database. Right click here. Click on create schema. Then provide the name. Test DB. Click on apply. Click on apply. Finish. See, new DB. Test DB is there. Even if you go to the command line tool, show databases. See, new DB, test DB is there, okay. And if you see here, two sections, administration and schemas. We click on administration, you can click on users. See, these are the users. If you want to create user, click on add account. Then provide username, password, okay. This is one way. Until now, we have connected MySQL by using MySQL command line client and workbench. Now, we will connect MySQL by using DB word. I have already installed DBR. If you want to install DBR on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. DBR, see here, see this DBR community edition. Click on this new database connection, then select MySQL, then click on next. Here, oh, localhost port number 336, provide the database name. We have after scores, username root, password, then click on test connection. Connection successfully, click on OK, click on finish. Expand connection, expand databases. See here we have the same databases. Users, see we got the same users. Let me create a user, right click create user. James, see select whatever the privileges that you want to grant. Then you have to click on save. Click on persist. See new user James is created. Close this tab. If you want to perform actions, right click select SQL editor. Open SQL console. Now we can perform the SQL statements. Here in Workbench also, close this one. We can run the queries here. Select version. Select. Click on execute. See, we have installed SQL, MySQL version 8.4.3. Okay. The last step that we are going to show you Windows run services.msc. Press M. See here, we have the MySQL 84. This is the service name, right click, 
want to stop, you have to click on stop. If you want to restart, you have to click on restart. Okay, select the service. Here also you have the options like stop, restart. And these are the links and these are the buttons. Stop button, restart button. Okay, so in this video we have seen how to install and configure MySQL 8.4.3 LTS version on Windows operating systems. For more MySQL DB tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.